Sharon. The what? fight is over there. Yeah. <laughs> Oh my god. Put all of your things in a box to the left. Oh my god. <laughs> it's the D-pad. I'm Rick. <laughs> I'm John. I'm Ben. And I'm tired. And I'm here still to remind you. <laughs> I'm um, the mess you left when you went away. Yeah, this such is, a good it's song. It's not fair. Pokemon Let's Wait, Go Special Pikachu <laughs> Edition. Uh, name your favorite song about Dave Coulier. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you already did. Is that really the? Is that really who she wrote that about? Have you not known this? I don't. No, I also, wow, your your watch just thought I was to talking to her, but uh, uh, it, it wasn't. Um, wait, who's Dave Coulier? Dave Coulier From, played uh, Uncle House. Jesse on yeah, no, no Uncle uh, Joey on Uncle the Joe, yeah. The song about him is. Uh, I think they're all about heels. him. Is what? Head over heels is a different song that's about him. Oh. No, I was told that whole album was about him. The whole album? Imagine an entire. Imagine writing an entire album about Dave Coulier. Yeah. Like really? And, uh, <laughs> like go down on you in a theater. You know that line from that other yeah, song? Yeah. Did he actually do that? I oh no. Did she go, did <laughs> I she think do that? she must have. Yeah, right. Yeah. Whatever right. the wording is. I can't. I'm trying to envision. <laughs> I mean, anything that is more frightening to me, image-wise, than than. A Dave Coulier blowjob in a uh, movie theater. <laughs> what is it? It's like, I want you to know yeah. I am happy for you. Yeah. And like, I think that was about him. Because they had I like a was just whirlwind one, relationship man. and then breakup. I thought it was just the one song. That was now we should him. look it up. Because maybe I'm just up. spreading horrible lies about Alanis Morissette, who's actually pretty awesome. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I liked her in Dogma. I liked her in Dogma. I watched <laughs> that the other day. Did you? Yeah. It's, <laughs> it's pretty fun. A, it's a great movie. I love it. All right, Alanis I Morissette, Dave Coulier. I like that Kevin Smith went to protest Dogma. Oh, <laughs> Alanis Did Morissette he? addresses <laughs> rumors you ought to know is about ex Dave Coulier. Uh, War Turtle. <laughs> Did you get the opportunity to get a Squirtle? Yes, it was another one that was killed by the gamer juggler thing. Uh, yeah. Apparently six. Apparently six. People have have taken credit for being the subject of that song, <laughs> according to Alanis Morissette. <laughs> That's amazing. Uh, okay. I love the way he falls down, like punk. Yeah, just. Uh, does she confirm? <laughs> she does not confirm. She oh. says she she even says no revealing. Nice. So that means yes. <laughs> Come on. Well, that's the thing. Apparently, there's been six. He she wasn't a, she wasn't asked explicitly if it was Dave Coulier. She was asked if she if she would if she would actually reveal who the subject of the song is. Yeah. And and the introduction of the article is that there had been rumors about about. Um, yeah. That's weird that like we'd both heard the same thing about the same person. Like. Yeah, I mean, uh, we didn't make this up. Right, like, right, right. It could be but just one of those things that travels around and, yeah. and morphs and game of telephone, but like it is a well-established known thing that they dated she wrote songs about him right and it was during that time yeah at least one song on that album is about him yeah <laughs> um possibly more than one. right <laughs> right 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 well, although dave coulier has apparently both said that it's him and also later said that it's not him of course because he probably regretted saying that cause entirely possible though like he when he said that it was probably him, he said that like he recognized a few of the incidents in the lyrics of things that actually happened. Maybe Atlantis just has the same few tricks. Or, <laughs> I mean, or it could be one of those things where it's like, it's, I want to say Taylor Swift's done a similar thing where it's like, you've sort of patchworked together a bunch of like bad. Oh yeah. As someone who's a tried to, who's tried to write lyrics, they're very rarely like the ballad of my experience with a yeah. single person. It's like right. a pastiche of things Put them all together and, and yeah. vignettes and emotions exactly. from a long time. and. Um, so I don't really need to go. She just in handed you like an open sandwich bag full of potion liquid, and you're just like, yeah. "Oh, all right, okay." Just <laughs> hold on to this, I guess. I just like take a baggie and like put it up against my mouth and go. <laughs> Do you have a rubber band? No. Oh, all right. So oh, seal. Zubat, oh, there's a seal. Yeah, but you've already caught. You already had your encounter. Zubat was my encounter in here, which yep. is stupid. So if you go through here, you got hey, look. There it is. It's back for you. Again. Yeah, I. I you could honestly, you could uh, no. you could fly to Cinnabar and go and just and work go my way east back. to Route Twenty. Yeah. Well, if you what wanna. I want to know is like, did I get all the trainers? You, I, you. This was the first guy you fought, and I even was like, I need to remember that this I guy's here. Probably did. I don't know. Whatever. I'll fly to Cinnabar and then work my way back. All right. Gotta go to my D flying D Pikachu. D yep. D oh, bye. Ah, ah, ah! The fuck it makes more sense for. 
<laughs> oh. All right. Are you sure I can't give him a pet? You can give him a pet. I thought we weren't allowed to do partner play. We we do a little bit. We we weren't about we weren't able to do it immediately after gym battles. That was that was the whole thing there is because like that can that can add to their like likelihood of of wanting to help you in He's battle. He's such stuff, a but. yellow baby. <laughs> okay. Maybe it's it the just maybe is. it's the man glasses that you put on him. No. Uh, <laughs> it sounds like a baby. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. Pikachu which is impressive because it's a Japanese woman. Yeah. Well, who, that who sounds very in line with what Japanese people would What's like. What's her name? I Ikue Ota Otani? I no. Know, no I miss Otani? the old Gen 1 Pikachu who was Brrr, a was fat, fat motherfucker. Brrr, brrr. Hey. Yeah. <laughs> a fat rat who On comes the... out of the woods who's like, Brrr. Hey, dude, all you got to do, all you got to do is get a Gigantamax P Pikachu and you can have those days back again. No, the best Pokemon like game that's ever been made, Pokemon Sword and or Shield. Yep. He's, he's still like swole Pikachu instead of like lump Pikachu. I think he's, no, I think it, the Gigantamax version is like very they, lumpy. They and intentionally like, make him look more like the old one when he's in Did they? He looks um, kind of like yeah, a big beanbag thing. Pikachu. It's easy to miss because the game is stupid. <laughs> <but>. <laughs> and nobody plays it. Oh, uh, man. It's actually... I want I wanted to like it. It's actually, I think someone's, I think I saw a thing, it's the best-selling Pokemon game. Oh, I'm sure it is. I'm sure it is. Which, like, it's Pokemon and it's the Switch, so, like, of oh, course yeah, it's going to okay. be. But. And this phenomenon is happening where people who were, in 1996, were nerds and who yeah. were into Pokemon. It, well, it's also best-selling by, like, what, total gross sales? Yeah. Well, they were like, like, of course that'll be bigger, like. Right. There were three waves for it, right? There was the initial, like, burst where a bunch of kids were into it, but it was still kind of, it was still nerdy to be into video games, so it was, like, this yeah. weird... And then there was the point where P where Pokemon was like explicitly for kids, like right around like the Diamond Pearl Black and White era. If you were basically if you were like in high school or above, Pokemon was like very not cool to be into at all. Yeah. And then somewhere around Black and White going into X Y, it suddenly started swinging back into now everybody is just kind of into Pokemon. Well, then like what I was gonna say is like. Minus when the people we who have given up on Pokemon, and that's a different thing. Right. When we started, only nerds like video games. Yeah. Now, pretty much everybody likes video games. Yeah. Or, you know, and now, like, everybody and their girlfriends are now getting into video games. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So, like, I've played through entire Pokemon games with, like, girls I've been dating who would never have normally played it, but ended up really liking it and right. became, like, addicted in their own right. See, I, I, I have occasionally been on the flip side of that, despite being someone who's played video games my entire life when it comes to, like, tactical RPGs. There's a few that I love, but I don't really get into the genre much because it's such a time sink. So, yeah. like, Sarah is all about that stuff. She mm -hmm. plays a she plays a lot of XCOM and XCOM-like games. Yeah. And I am just, like, <laughs> struggling to <laughs> follow along. I'm like, all right, and yeah. <laughs> I mean, there's a, there's a few that are like that. The, like, um... I don't know what to call them because it's, it's a tactical RPG, but the combat is vaguely physics based or I guess it's real geometry based I don't know how to describe that but oh no a hexagon my only weakness well no but it's literally like you get yourself in position and then to attack it actually like squares you up and you see what their shot is like and you have to make the shots to land them okay gotcha so it's like way more it's like more involved than most tactical it's RPGs I've a, ever played it's still a tactical RPG with a I won't it's say the, gimmick, but like another yeah, it's mechanic. The, it's the actual like interaction that is different yeah. from from most of them. He's so cute the way he looks at me after every move. I know, right? <laughs> just mm -hmm. but it, it's both cute but kind of creepy because it like turns like halfway yeah, and then it stops. Is totally, you could that be sounds kind of like um, is it Valkyria Chronicles? See, I I don't even know. I never actually played know. that one either. I've heard of it, but I haven't played it. I think it's a similar idea where it's a tactical RPG, but then like when there's interactions, it's like you kind of have to like aim and shoot kind nice. of thing. So the irony being, I uh, as I'm uh, as I'm mentioning that XCOM is this like much more involved thing, and I know nothing about that stuff. I'm literally in the midst of streaming Namco Cross Capcom, which is a tactical RPG where when you go to battle, you actually have to time your attacks and things on, like in a vaguely. It's like a fighting game on rails for the actual battle portion. It's kind of weird, but I was realizing after I said that, I was like, oh, wait, I'm literally doing one of those at present. Let's see. What am I looking at here? Do, 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 do. Uh, that's a Pikachu with glasses on. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And a hat Let's and see. a bow tie and a Team Rocket shirt. Maybe I'll go for the uh, double, 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 double effective. Your trainer's kind of lucky there aren't more cops in Pokemon. I feel like they'd be a little suspicious of your Pikachu in a in a Team well, Rocket it's shirt. it's a borderline utopia. Eh. <sighs> Oh no, I'm being quaked. 
Is it really a well, borderline you are poison utopia, type, so. or is there just free health care? Yeah, that wasn't great, <laughs> yeah. but I'm pretty sure this will set things right. Has, has anyone done that yet? Has anyone done the, like, satire parody version of Pokemon that, like, makes it more real-world-like, where it's more perhaps United yes, States real-world-like? Did, did yes, they? All right. Yes. Pokemon Rusty Pokemon. gets pretty dark. Nice. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's true. That's a good point. Yeah. Go to the Pokemon Center, and it costs you, like, 14,000 Poke Dollars to heal one Pokemon Pinsir. part way. Yes, I Ooh. will switch my Pokemans. Let's see. Pinsir's Boy Bug, so fire. Yeah. End of list. Okay. Yeah, that's, that should be plenty. The biggest risk there is if he's got, like, a rock move for probably whatever reason. probably has guillotine but. and just put me out of my misery. Well, guillotine wouldn't matter unless he was higher level anyway. At level 700 Pinsir. Actually... Assuming Ugh. assuming Fafnir makes it, would this be the first Charizard that would actually have a chance of, like... I feel like every Charizard that's shown up in these Nuzlocks has, a, has eventually died. Most of them have been mine, unfortunately, but... Well, I don't, know, I don't know that I've even had one so far, have I? You had one in Insurgents. Oh, well, it was, you a, went first. it was a, not even a normal one. Yeah, tournament. it wasn't a normal one. <laughs> I was so bummed because I was so excited for <laughs> a know. chance to bring Clover back. <laughs> And I'm like, but I'm not going to just do the same thing. But uh, there was... Um, it would have been so different. There was a Charizard. I had a Charizard in Pokemon X. No. And that one died to... What was um, your catch? Yeah, he's already got a magic card. That one Let's died see. to the... Uh, the Oh, my God. I can't remember its name. Break Not Breakson. It's the one above that. It's the Fox Witch starter one. Bra um, Bra yeah, I know what you mean. Breck... Bra Brexit? Brexit is the middle one. I think it's Brexit. It's fe yeah, <laughs> Fennekin, Brexit, and then Zablaze again, which is what I keep thinking. <laughs> I know <laughs> because it's a different Pokemon. But that one, it literally died to the last possible move that it could have died on. From that, it was like Psychic or something. There was, I think my actually, I might be wrong. I think I, I think I had a Charizard in Pokemon oh, Fire fuck Red. This. That I hate it. this fucking game. I don't care. <laughs> I was gonna try and spin up a combo and catch something better, but you can also I not use Pokeballs, use Great Balls shit. or something. Yeah, but like all I have is Ultra Balls. I and mean, I just at like this can't point bring myself to waste them on a Magikarp. <laughs> I think that's the better <laughs> method of leveling up. <laughs> actually, is? is chaining Pokemon catches, isn't it? It's the best way to level up, isn't it? It seems it seems to do a pretty good job of making the experience start rising quicker. All right, well then I guess I'll have to do it. <laughs> Fight. I feel like I should just... I'm just going to try and, like, you know, whip it out and be like, all right, Jolteon, what do you got? Go for it. Let's see what happens here. I forget if electric resists electric. It looks like it does. Over yeah. half, though. Oh, because it's a crit, too. Oh, it'll always be a crit, though. Yeah, because Zippy Zap is a dumb move. Man, I like, I like the fact that if your Pokemon like you, they will occasionally avoid attacks and, like, heal themselves and stuff, but... It happens so often in this game that it stops feeling special after a while. Like well, we're late in the game, so the idea is we've formed such a bond. I guess, but it's just like, it really... Yeah. <laughs> I do have two great balls. Thanks for noticing. Oh, fuck this fucking game. I want a villain team in Pokemon that's interesting again. It's been a very long time since we've had a legitimately interesting villain team. Team yeah, Rocket was good for the 90s. I just think you what you need to say is we need an interesting Pokemon game. I mean, yeah. We haven't had a good Pokemon Team game. Team Rocket in a while. was interesting for the 90s. Team Aqua and Team Magma were interesting also, though their plan was a little bit like I don't know. In a weird way their plan was maybe too extreme for mm -hmm. what made them work as good villains, but I remember a goddamn thing about Team Galactic. Uh mm -hmm. Team Plasma was am I mixing those up? Galactic and Plasma. I forget which one was Gen Four, which one was Gen Five. The Gen Five one I really liked because like the whole plot of that game revolved around like, hey, maybe Pokemon is not very ethical, and it's like, yeah, all right, explore that a bit. And they did a bit. They could have even gone further with it. Nice but to meet you. Would you like to dogfight? Yeah, right. Like, and <laughs> in a less entirely tactless and classless way. What the fuck? Where's the thing? Uh, like the, the, the switch? switch, it's straight in the middle of the TV. On the floor? Yep. I mean, oh, like, I not on the floor. Of. It's on the little entertainment thing. But it, Do you see it going the exact opposite way I am going? Nice. Nice. 
Uh, Team Flair was boring. They were okay. I liked their style. Lysander was cool. Lys Lysander was our, or um, not Lysander. Um, the, the guy from Pokemon X, the boss. Was that Lysander? Yeah. I think I'm mixing up Lysander and Sycamore, the professor. Oh yeah, those are different things. Yeah, um, <laughs> those are different people. Right? If it's, it won't break my streak if I fight another trainer, right? No. Now, does the streak have to be all Magikarps? Yes. Yes. It has okay. to be the same Pokemon. Which might be the worst Pokemon to chain. Yeah, I, give you're not going to get much experience <laughs> from that. Well, general, the problem is if I catch a Tentacle, I have to catch yeah, it. Yeah, if you catch anything else. I mean, Grant, you I have mean, two. What else am I going to yeah, get on this Tentacle, Tentacruel, Staryu, Starmie. Those are your options. Yeah, so. I don't think Tentacruel's bad. He's not bad. Yeah. But what I need right now is, like, a miracle. <laughs> <laughs> they don't have those here. No, they don't really do. All right, I'll well, catch What you some, need uh, to do is go to Viridian and talk to the old man who teaches you how to catch a poke. Pokemon. Oh. You also and have then you fly to Cinnabar too. Island and go up and down on the shore. <laughs> yeah. You, you do also have the Pokemon Mansion before... before That's uh, true. I mean, the best thing around. you can get there is a Weezing, right? Probably. Uh, I mean, I'd say Weezing's probably the best one there. You can get, like, Magmar, which is... Bad. Eh. Bad. Yeah. Weezing's not bad, but he's not going to help me against Rick. It's kind uh, of uh, Zeus. Yeah. Yeah, probably not a ton, no. <laughs> I like Dodrio. <laughs> The Drio's cool, yo. No pom pom uh. bird. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's kind of I don't know. What? Have I? What? <coughs> Am I too old for Pokemon now? Possibly. Well, no. Pokemon has gotten kiddier as has we've it? gotten older. Yeah. That's what, that's oh what yeah. I'm, that's what I'm not sure. It's has, like all training the wheels now. They used to be like a legit JRPG, but now it's just training wheels the yeah. whole game. They've, they've definitely I, I made just some feel a little jaded when here. it comes to Pokemon in general. Like, not only, like, I don't know, like, I can't look at a Pokemon and be like, oh, that's cool. I'm like, all right, let's look yeah, up. Because Pokemon are keys now. Huh? Like, Pokemon are just a ring of keys now. Yeah. <laughs> like, they've I, gotten worse. And that doesn't count the actual ring of keys Pokemon. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, but I don't know. I just, like, I look at it, it's like, you know, yeah, Dodrio looks cool, but, like, look at his base stat total. is fucking garbage. Right. <laughs> well, well that's, again, cool. that's, that's bad cool. design. If they're going to make, I know that if they're going to make 800 creatures, they need to make some better than others, but 99% yeah. are trash, yeah. <laughs> and then you've got a few pretty good ones. Yeah. You like, can hear takes like these and more next time. Oh, shit. Sure.